for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I rise today to speak in opposition to the drastic cuts proposed to the Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, known as SNAP. The SNAP program helps millions of Americans in need, including 16 percent of the residents of my state, put food on the table, provide for their families, and get back on their feet. This is a sad day because the House will soon vote to cut $40 billion, an enormous amount, from the SNAP program. But this isn't about government programs. It's not even about dollars. It's about 6 million Americans. It's about dismantling a highly effective program that my home state has used to get people back to work. In these tough economic times, we should be helping folks get back on their feet. And we shouldn't be asking the least fortunate among us to shoulder the burden for a Congress that can't get its act together and pass a budget. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, why should there be hunger and deprivation in any land, in any city, at any table, when man has the resources and the scientific know-how to provide all mankind with the basic necessities of life? There is no deficit of human resource. The deficit is human will. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What purpose does the gentlelady from Ohio seek recognition?